There is one less candidate in the race for the presidency tonight. Delaware Senator Joseph Biden dropped out of the hunt today, saying the disclosures about his plagiarism in law school and his exaggerations about his academic record made it impossible for him to continue. I do it with incredible reluctance, and it makes me angry. I'm angry with myself for having been put in the position, put myself in the position, of having to make this choice. The Delaware Democrat is the second candidate to be forced from the race by questions of character and integrity. Gary Hart dropped out earlier this year. Meantime, with Joseph Biden out of the race, Colorado Congresswoman Pat Schroeder may soon fill the spot vacated by the Delaware Senator. Today, Pat Schroeder avoided questions about her plans to run for the Oval Office, but she did say she'll make some kind of decision on Monday. Schroeder says she's planning to travel. Hold on. I don't care about this lady, man. All I care about is this, Joe Biden, <laughs> 1987, 1987, Joe Biden running for president. He's been trying to get in the White House since 1987, rode in on the Obama wave as second fiddle for two terms. Two terms, a chance. And now he wants to do it official. Official. Dame drops. That's insane. That's why I got to give credit. I don't know who came up with it, but probably not him. But I got to give credit to Trump on the uh, 47 years. What have you done in 47 years? <laughs> Man. I cannot stand these old establishment. Mmm, Pelosi, Schumer, Biden. And then from a different perspective, Trump. Old, out of touch, but at least he's not, well, in some ways he's not old school with the government, but in other ways he is. Why is our government as bad as it is? Why has our government betrayed us, Republican and Democrat alike? What is one of the biggest problems facing our country in terms of the government not serving the people? The biggest problem that is at the heart of all of these issues is the 1%, the elites, the corporations who have taken our government hostage. They use their money to have the heirs of our politicians and get their favors, have the laws rewritten to favor their businesses and their profits, meanwhile screwing the American people. And Trump has been a big part of that. He even admitted it during his campaign. It's like we've put the wolf in the hen house. Previously, he used to have to, you know, backroom deals and you know, making campaign donations to Democrats and Republicans alike, going to, you know, weddings with the Clintons and, you know, playing golf with them, <laughs> right? Doing this for years and years, getting those sweet deals. So technically, he's basically as establishment as Joe Biden is, right? He's been there behind the scenes. That's the main difference. He's been doing that behind the scenes. In the front, you know, we see him with his whatever shenanigans shelling, selling steaks and wines and all kinds of stuff that fails. The main thing he was successful at is being an actor, reality show TV star, and the Trump brand, which was gifted to him by his father. Like, that's his main thing. All those business ventures, you know, um, they failed. The casino, right? Now he's the president, his Trump campaign, bankrupt, now begging for money, sending me emails all day, sending me text messages all day. Please send me money for the defense fund. Meanwhile, fine print says it's actually not for the defense fund. It's for his debt. All right. Donald Trump is as establishment as Joe Biden. The only difference is it wasn't his responsibility to serve the American people. He was betraying the American people behind the scenes by manipulating politicians to favor his business interests. But that wasn't his job. Joe Biden actually had the job for decades. And what has he done with it? 
Nah, I wouldn't go as far as people saying he has done nothing. I'm pretty sure he's done something <laughs> in 47 years. Um, but he served his time. Time to move on. Unfortunately, the only other option is Donald Trump. So between Trump and, and uh, Biden, I'll go with Biden. And uh, while Biden is uh, getting us back to back to normalcy, um, we need to get on an aggressive hunt to replace him ASAP and get us a real leader and president who is in touch with the American people, who is clever enough to not have an ad that begins with begging for money before you present what you're offering, <laughs> right? Uh, we, we deserve better than this, but we absolutely deserve better than Trump, which is why we end up with Biden. But uh, Biden, ain't, Biden ain't it. Biden is not it. I'm glad he finally gets to fulfill uh, this lifelong dream, but uh, I'm sorry, dude. You've lived your life. You've done all these things. It's time to step aside. This country is not for you, right? You're on your way out. This country is for the next generation, our kids that are growing up right now, elementary school, junior high school, high school. They're going to be coming on the job market. And right now it looks like they'll be entering a disaster. For many different reasons, we need someone who is on point, who is connected, who understands the American people, who will serve the American people. Simply, quote unquote, decency. We need to get back to decency. We need more than the decency of a guy who might have raped Tara Reid and who has a track record of lying and plagiarizing. All right. This is the Debate Me channel. Debate me in the comment section below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell. Be well. Did you not hear what I said? I said click on that subscribe button. I said click on that subscribe button. I said if you click on the subscribe button, I'll stop doing what I'm doing right now because it's pretty annoying. Even to me, it's annoying. So um, as soon as you click on the subscribe button, uh, I, I will stop doing this. Click on that subscribe button. I said click on that subscribe button. I said click on that. Oh my goodness. Dude, relax. You're making a fool of yourself. Shut up, man. You are arguing with yourself right now. I think you lost your marbles. You're kind of acting like Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> what? Come on, man. You ain't black.